Hi guys, welcome back to Game Jube. I am here again to be guessing between something that is real and something that is not. I am back with Jordan. Hello. And today he is going to be describing a bunch of bizarre accessories for gaming consoles. And I have to guess whether that is a real thing or not. I am very nervous because I really sucked at the last one. Uh, do check out that episode if you want to have a look at what this is all about. And uh, yeah, before we get into it though, do please leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And please play along with us and keep your score so you can comment it down below at the end. Alrighty, Jordan, what do you have for me today? Yes, so I'll go through a variety of real and fake gaming accessories and if they are real nick will chuck them up on the screen we won't reveal them till you give your answer and guys if you're watching you can comment your score at the end of it like jade said but let's get into it so the first one i'm going to throw at you is the nintendo switch neck stand nintendo released a giant neck brace accessory so you don't have to hold your Nintendo Switch. You can simply walk around <laughs> with your Switch around your neck with flexible wires holding your console in front of your face. So where you play with a Pro Controller and Joy-Cons in each hand. So whether you play with a controller or a Joy-Con in each hand. Jade, is this accessory real or fake? Fake? is because usually they don't promote things to be too close to your eyes because they always say like it's not good for you keep it a certain mm. distance yeah you so, get triangle eyes yeah that and i just can't i i haven't personally seen it i played the switch a lot i'm gonna say that's fake okay i can confirm it's real no it's not oh, i hate this game <laughs> <laughs> That is the Nintendo Switch neck stand. It's really good for planes. Can I get for it? For walking. Can I have um, one, please? For going on a run. Can we buy one for me if going on a run? <laughs> Whether you're on the treadmill or on the toilet. <laughs> can I please have one? Can you guys buy one for me? Whether you're doing bench press. Or... <laughs> Answer me. Can I please have one? <laughs> no, you cannot. Why? Are they only sold in Japan? Yes. Damn. Okay. Already <laughs> failing. <laughs> okay. The next one I will throw to you is the NES laser scope. This NES accessory was a futuristic headset that was voice activated. The headset was compatible with a number of games. In order to engage with the games, you had to shout the phrase fire whenever you wanted to shoot the weapons in the game. Jade, is this accessory real or fake? Was voice activation things Available back when the NES was a thing? I cannot confirm, nor does <laughs> Um, I can imagine, like, fire. That sounds like something I can imagine. Fire! Fire! P <laughs> PK fire! PK fire! Um, but I can't imagine that voice activation was, like, a readily accessible thing back then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, no. Nah. Oh god, I'm not sure. Um, w roughly, whenabouts was the NES a thing? Before the SNES. <laughs> yeah. I can confirm it's before the <laughs> SNES, yes. And that was in the early, like, thousands. Yes, maybe the 1920s. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it's real? Is that your final answer? <laughs> yes? I can confirm that it is real. Ooh! Ooh, okay. Fire! Fire! Look at that kitty's firing. <gasps> look at the eye yeah. scope! Yeah, look at that. No way. You splinter cell. I did not think it would look like that. I thought it'd be like a Vegeta kind of like side. Hmm. Look at that girl. She looks like she doesn't even know who she is. <laughs> she's in a different <laughs> she's in a different avatar. That's at me playing this game. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah. So voice activation was a thing in the NES era. It indeed was. Cool. The next thing I throw to you is the Ocarina of Time limited edition controller. A controller shaped exactly like the famous Ocarina of Time from the famous Zelda game with the same name. This controller sported all of the buttons of a Nintendo 64 controller, but was molded into the shape of the ocarina <laughs> instrument. 
Players would often hold the controller to their mouth and pretend to play the ocarina as Link did on screen. If you didn't, you just weren't getting into it. Jade, is this accessory real or fake? Ooh, I could vibe with that. I would so be that kid who tried to play it. Just suck on an ocarina. Oh, so... <laughs> so, it was a separate accessory that you could buy after purchasing the game. It is Nintendo we're talking about, so yes. You don't get things with the game. Yeah, no, you don't, you don't. Um, yeah. I don't know that, though, I'm assuming. And what what year was the Ocarina uh, of Time game, re like, released? 1996, I believe, or 1994, 1995? Around that time. 1998 was the release of Ocarina of Time. I... I just feel like they wouldn't yet be into that fan service kind of thing back then. I'm going to say it's fake. I can confirm this is fake. Oh, yes. Yes. Woo. Good work. <laughs> but honestly sad. No, if no. only they did do that. And it's only for Ocarina of Time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... <laughs> that, that was the one thing that had me, like, mm. sh shocked. <laughs> okay. Okay. We frying pan. <laughs> the Wii frying pan is an accessory that clips onto your Wiimote, transforming it into a fry pan. This accessory was designed for cooking Mama cooking on the Mama. Wii and multiple other cooking games it can be combined with. The frying pan had a thick gel-like liquid between the plastic of the frying pan to shift the weight and give the illusion and, and feel of flipping and tossing food in a pan. It wasn't necessary to play a game, but it did offer a good sense of realism. Jade, was this accessory real or fake? This sounds like some Nintendo sh I'ma say real. This is fake. <laughs> so it's a Nintendo. As if they put liquid in a controller and you can shift the weight, but it doesn't- No, not like a liquid- But you don't like use a, it to play the game. A jelly or something. Oh, I good. feel like that's so something they would do. Mm. Mm. The SNES Boxing Gloves The SNES Boxing Gloves were originally designed for Super Punch-Out on the SNES. The kit came with two wearable boxing gloves and an infrared sensor that mounted on top of your TV. The sensor would be detect to detect whenever the gloves contact with the infrared beam and then register, register as a punch in the game. The, de te the detection was quite weak and barely registered if at all. Jade, is this accessory real or fake? That also sounds like something they would do. They did that for other games as well, Nintendo. I'm gonna say real. I can confirm that this game is indeed fake. Oh, this is an accessory. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, the game, I've heard of it before. No, no, no the, the, oh, yeah, accessory the accessory is indeed fake. Damn! I feel like they would so do that. That was very mm. convincing, guys. Good job. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Are you ready for the next one? Yes. <laughs> Resident Evil Chainsaw Controller. What? This controller was released <laughs> alongside the PlayStation 2 and GameCube versions of Resident Evil 4. This controller is shaped like an actual chainsaw <laughs> no. with a handle, realistic chainsaw blades, <laughs> it is covered in blood, and it sports the PlayStation or GameCube buttons atop of it. Jade, is this accessory real or fake? That sounds too unbelievable to be fake. That sounds so unbelievable that you guys wouldn't expect me to believe that's real. So, therefore, I think it's real? I can confirm it is real. Yes! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> what the hell? That's hella cool. No way! I can also confirm that Beto Benjo has one. No way! He recently <gasps> bought one. Oh my god! Do you wish you had that? Not really. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks quite annoying to play. hundred oh, percent, but oh my god! I knew that that was just too unlikely to be fake. Hmm. Wow. Wow, Nintendo. What the hell? <laughs> Hella cool. So that came out at the release of... Mm. You can kill Dr. Salvador with your own chainsaw. Wow. wow. Yeah. Iconic. You ready to move on? Mm-hmm. Okay, Jade. Okay. The next accessory is the Wii Bowling Ball. 
The Wii bowling ball is a literal bowling ball. <laughs> Shaped controller, accessory used for Wii sports bowling. <laughs> you simply opened up this bowling ball shaped device and insert your Wii <laughs> controller. It has its own Wii buttons on top, so you could navigate the menu and all you have to do is swing your bowling ball at the screen. Just don't let go. <laughs> Jade, is this accessory real or fake? Can I ask, is it weighted like a bowling ball? Are you implying that I have held this wee bowling ball? <laughs> I have not. I do not know. I, I, I doubt it's weighted because you are swinging it at the screen. So the safety option there would be to not weight it. I had a wee. Even though I was incorrect about the last wee one. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is fake. I can indeed confirm this is real. <laughs> this is the Wii who, bowling ball. Who, who allowed this to be made? Why? I had a Wii. Mm -hmm. Who? Why didn't you get the Wii bowling ball? I've never heard of this. <laughs> mm. It's like a... Was it it's heavy? Like, it's like one of those eight balls that you shake, but instead you don't Is shake it. Is it heavy-ish? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Stupid. Yeah, stupid. Nintendo is stupid. pretty stupid sometimes. Why would you... Why? Mm. Why does that need to... <laughs> okay. okay. All right. You then. ready? QB glasses or Q-U-B-E. So Q.U.B.E. So Q-B, like Q-U-B-E. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Glasses. Okay, I'm feeling that. Mm -hmm. Much like 3D glasses, these glasses came with the PS4 puzzle game Cube. These glasses gave you the ability to see different colored cubes on the screen and also the ability to see through certain walls to uncover secret items. The glasses worked very similar to the old blue and red 3D glasses from comic books. For comic books. Except the technology was a bit more advanced and did require a single shell battery. Jade, is this accessory real or fake? I I feel like I could see that being made for older games, but definitely not the PS4. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that's fake. I can indeed confirm it is fake. Donkey Kong Bongo Controller. Much like the famous Guitar Hero controller, Nintendo attempted to make their own instrument controller for their Donkey Kong games. The controller is shaped like a pair of bongo drums and was compatible with four DK games on GameCube. Uh, four <laughs> DK games on GameCube. But this instrumental controller never made it to the Nintendo Wii. Jade, is this accessory real or fake? Hmm. I feel like I've heard of a bongo controller before. Mm -hmm. I don't know where, why, how, who. What? I can confirm that there is a Donkey Kong game where he plays the bongos. Yeah, there's multiple. He's okay, always you know that? playing yeah. the bongos. Yeah, he bongo one it up. He bongo it up. I... So it was it was big in, enough to... So you, wait, so there's buttons on it or you tap it with your hands? The, I, in this description I have, there is no confirmation of buttons. Only bongos. <laughs> <laughs> bongos, no buttons. No buttons but bongos. This is all I know. So, but any extraneous <laughs> buttons that are not needed, I assume, would not be included in so, the bongo set. So this is for the GameCube. So that's where it had like a bunch of those plug hole things. So you plugged your regular controller and you also plugged a bongo? Or <laughs> with the, you put a disc in, game loads up, bongo away. <laughs> <laughs> you bongo your way to glory at that point. I don't know. I don't have a pair of Donkey Kong Bongo controllers. I feel like <laughs> you guys would be a lot more descriptive if this was fake. I think this is real. I can confirm that this is real. Yay, buggers! How big were they? They look quite big. <laughs> they look really big. They also have a button in the middle. <laughs> yes, see, and they a have GameCube a plug plug in. in the middle. Oh my god. Wow. And you were just, just Bongo. Yeah, bongo on away. Mm. Bongo mm. boy. <laughs> you bongo your way through the menu. <laughs> wow, okay. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, DK. Got your own controller bongos. Now that's a legacy. I'm jealous. <laughs>
Alrighty guys, uh, thank you so much for watching me play a real or fake game. Um, I really hope you enjoyed and uh, please comment down below your score. Let me know which one threw you off the most. And uh, yeah, please leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Say bye Jordan. Bye. Bye guys.